You never know, I may drop in on you. I am here at Groom with a View, um, owned by Kirstine Reynolds, who is a CFMG in Utah. Draper, we're in Draper, Draper Utah. Utah. So, yay! Thanks for having me here Thank at you. Groom with okay. a View, and I got I got a photo of your view, which is fantastic. Isn't it I know that is awesome. That is great. What lake is this? This is actually a man-made pond. Okay. It is 12 acres. It's beautiful. I mean, 50 years ago, the farmer took his tractor to it. Oh, and wow. It and you're just right here on the edge. Okay. Yes. All right. So give us a little tour of your facility. This is your front check-in, of course. This is right here. So okay. This is where we check in okay. and check out. All right. You got high-tech stuff there. It smells good in here. It smells like, I don't know, some kind of uh, fruity vanilla scent. Or okay. Vanilla. Yep. Vanilla. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I like the purple, and you're wearing purple. Very much. So. We've got a theme going on here. Okay, and then you got your cage stuff, so your tub, your table. table. Here. Okay. So when I people know. come in the door, you're right here working yes. on somebody's dog, generally. Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. All right, and you do cats as well, because I just said you're a CFMG. Yes. What number CFMG are you? Number number one in the Utah. Yay. Number one. <laughs> number one. I would be proud of that. To yes, and it's die. yours forever. <laughs> Don't lose it. Um, so number one CFMG in Utah, yes. followed closely by Karen Drodes, yes. who was number two in the same class. Yes. And now we were just adding up today. There are three and four. Really? Um, oh, wait. Angela is number three, Angela okay. Murdoch, and yes. Katrina, Katrina, who's standing behind me, yeah, number four. And I don't know if there's any more after that. I can't keep track of all my grandchildren. <laughs> right? Okay, so you have dogs and cats I do. coming in. And how long have you been grooming? I've been grooming seven years. Okay. Um, I've had this location for a little over two years. All right. So I worked at a vet clinic before that. Yeah, a lot and of people get their start. I wanted to work from home, and we had Wonderful. this room, but it wasn't finished. And so when I decided okay. to work from home, we built it to my specifications. Wonderful. It's perfect so, size. Yeah, so it's just, and I've got plenty of storage. I have so much stuff that I need. Plenty, and you can see I've been cleaning. Yeah. I wanted you to have a good Yeah, time. yeah. Uh, so. Lots of stuff. Yep. So I have All right. Stuff. And um, what year did you come to school? What month? 2007, or no, 2011, and it was in August, I think. Okay. Se no, September. 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 Okay. All right. So, and I, I like your poster up there. Shit yes. happens. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's actually one of our clients' cats. Is that? It? It's a female. Yeah. I can't remember her name. Um, and She's very unhappy. how, yeah, she okay. always looks like that. Yeah, I see um, the same. How, uh, what, what's your percentage of like dog clients versus cat Probably, clients? I only do 10% cats. Okay. So Is that by choice or just yeah. pretty much no. you no. haven't really worked it? I, you know, I tried to market that and I actually had several ads targeting the cats. Okay. Um, and we have some local groomers that charge $25. So you're competing against and that. Right now it's all about education. Yeah. Letting the clients okay. know that, hey, you can have your cat room and it can look good. Right. So people, when they come to me, they're like, oh my gosh, I, my cats never look this good. My cat's calm. So. Have you tapped into your existing dog grooming clientele yet? Not really. Because how many of those people they actually have a cat at home them. that they would love a nail trim, soft pie application, yeah. D shed, and that you know they're, they're maybe not going to go for that bath first because they're going to yeah. tell you, oh my cat grooms itself, <laughs> it doesn't need a bath, <laughs> and so you say, oh bring kitty in for is it shedding? Yes. yes. Um, are the the nails sharp? Whatever. I'll do a nail trim, and then you talk them into soft paws, uh, do the D shed, yeah. and then you get them to leave the cat while you're doing the dog they're going to go shopping or whatever yes. they're going to do and then let you do your thing whatever that is fabulous. make them look fabulous and then you get them so you're giving away a groom maybe for the price of yeah. a uh, nail trim or soft power whatever who cares because now you've shown yeah. the difference and i i've done that so many times in the beginning yeah. but it's because they don't know what you have to offer yeah no and i love to have markets because they're my favorite to grow. they don't understand they don't, okay, I'm like, whose phone is that? 
they don't understand what you have to offer that the $25 cat groomer. And there's an, an absolute difference. Oh yeah, yeah, but they don't know that. Yeah. They think you're just offering the same thing, but for a lot more money. Yeah. Exactly. So that's how you start. They think the cat's supposed to look like it's been groomed with a weed whacker. Right, right, so, you know. yeah. Still filthy and all, yes. so no bath. Nope, All right. Yeah, no. Well, thank you so much for having us here. This is great. And um, it, I think this is a great series. People are really learning. You know, they get to get a glimpse into other people's um, salons. Oh, tell me about the newspaper article. When was I that? I had uh, one of the local papers came by and okay. did a feature on me. Nice. And you can actually see that I had my kitty, my I see that. Persian, and that was my, that was my main feature. Cool. And, we, and I actually shaved them down, and they took hundreds of pictures. They were probably more impressed with that than anything yes. else, right? Yes. Because who and grooms cats? And the view. Yeah, the, the cats and the view. <laughs> when everyone's like, oh my gosh, I have no idea. Yeah. Groom with a view. It's a great name. Well, thank you for having us, thank Christine. You.